some sort of worm or a number of worms in their intestinal system and those worms will just eat up nutrients in your body. And so some of the main risk factors for getting a parasite infection, one is antibiotic use because antibiotics will kill off healthy microbes in your gut. Those healthy microbes produce postbiotics, they eat the food that we consume, produce postbiotics that strengthen the intestinal lining, strengthen the gut mucosa, the immunoglobulins in the gut mucosa, and protect the gut lining and protect the overall environment in the gut. When those bacteria die down, now we have a weaker immune response in our gut, and that allows a lot of these parasites to grow, right, and to replicate and take control. Number two, I mentioned this already, poor sleep and stress. That hampers our natural gut-mediated immune system and allows for parasites to take hold and to overgrow and overreplicate. Bad diet and lifestyle. So if we're going to bed too late, if we're drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking, if we are stressed out, if we're eating ultra-processed foods, high-sugar foods, eating late at night, a lot of these lifestyle factors increase our risk. Number four, very commonly, low stomach acid. When we consume food, that food is gonna have microbes on it, even if it was just cooked. Obviously, the more you cook it, the less microbes, or the more fresh you consume it, like freshly cooked, the less microbes are gonna be on it. The more it's exposed to air after it's cooked, the more microbes are gonna be on it. But normally, our stomach acid should be able to handle that. If we have real strong acidic stomach acid, it's gonna sterilize the food that comes in. But if we're under stress, if we're eating bad foods, if we have certain nutrient deficiencies, like zinc deficiency, for example, then we're not gonna be able to produce the stomach acid that we need, and we're not gonna be able to sterilize that food effectively, and therefore parasites and other microbes, bad bacteria and different things like that, are going to get into our small intestine in a higher proportion, much higher levels than if we had good, adequate stomach acid. So really important that we have good stomach acid production. And then number five is trauma, of course, any sort of physical trauma, but also emotional trauma. That's a major stressor that's gonna affect our ability to produce stomach acid, and it's gonna affect our gut microbiome and our immune system in our gut, and then exposure to toxins, pesticides, herbicides, mycotoxins. Maybe you're living in a moldy home that's off-gassing mycotoxins. Maybe you just got a new couch and it's off-gassing formaldehyde. That's gonna hamper your immune system and make you more susceptible to a parasite infection.